Hey everyone, welcome back to Cam Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create these anime lines. So, as you can see here, we have our good friend Dwight Schrute uh, screaming at the camera with these anime lines to make it a lot more intense. And you can see these anime lines in kind of in animes, in cartoons, to kind of in all those Japanese ones to make things look more intense, which certainly works here. So, uh, we're going to uh, start off with a clean composition. We have the uh, GIF file here, which I've given a little bit of animation. So if I open it up, press U, you can see there we have the position, scale, and rotation keyframed. And then over here it kind of rotates, as you can see, let's zoom out here, it rotates and it scales in and it positions so it keeps it in the middle. So that's kind of an extra little effect there. So that's easy. So close that down and then put it at fit. And then we're going to create, uh, select the pen tool and then we're going to create a new shape. So first off, click on this button to, to uh, open up your title action safe, which we see the middle, which makes it a bit easier. And then from the middle kind of create this um, triangle shape here like that. And then we can turn this off. So now we have this basic shape here. We're going to rename this to anime line and we're going to open this up and then go to add and then add a repeater effect. And the repeater is kind of what it, what it what the name says, it repeats this shape. So open it up, go to copies, make that like 40, uh, oops, 40. And the offset, something random, we can look at that later. And we're going to go to transform, no, on the transform from the repeater and uh, put zero here at the position so it stays right on top of this one. And then we're going to play around with this rotation here. So if I turn the rotation up, you can see that, oh, there it is. So. We have this rotation thing going on here. So kind of make this a little bit random, maybe the offset a little bit less. Let's make this zero actually. Kind of you know, 40, maybe can turn it down a little bit. And maybe this, this would be enough. And then play with the offset here. Yeah, like this. I'm gonna uh, take with my pen tool, click on the middle line here, drag a little bit out so we can have a bit more definition and then we're going to play around with a bit more copies, a bit more offset, and with a bit more rotation, like this. So yeah, you, you can get this kind of nice filled out um, uh, thing. Just play around with the offset and with the rotation. So now we have this thing, but now we're going to add our manic effect to it. So I'm going to close this repeater down and then select on it, select the anime lines again and click on add and go to wiggle transform. So we're going to open that up, put it below the repeater, by the way, open this up. And then for wiggles per second, we're going to type in 10. So now you can see this happening, nothing. Um, because we're going to go to transform and then play with position and drag the position up a little bit. So you can see this stuff moving here. So we're going to drag this up and the rotation as well. Where is it? Yeah, here's a ro rotation a little bit, maybe not too much. And then here you can see the effect. There you go. I think we can put this out a little bit more here. Maybe make these a little bit longer just to be sure so we don't have them you know, creeping into the screen. So here we have our basic anime lines effect. I gave him a different color. I gave them the nice mustard color from his tie. So click on fill, create them this nice bright, brightish yellowish color, maybe a little bit more like this so we can see it a bit better yep so there we have these anime lines like that and so that's nice and we can duplicate this press command d and then the below ones here make them white and then we have this effect here maybe kind of drag this shape out a little bit so they're a little bit smaller and then you can change the maybe just open the repeater and make the copies like 20, a little bit less, and a little bit less a different offset, so we get some random stuff going. So now we have this. Looks pretty intense already. And that is the basic idea of it. That's the um, kind of nice anime effect. A little bonus tip here. What I did is with these anime lines here, with the first comp, I actually added a nice turbulent. Let's just turn these ones off. As you can see here, that it's kind of um, bouncing and like wiggling around this, and it's. Uh, um, shaking around this footage because without that it is it's not it's just zooming in so to add that little extra shake to make it a bit more intense and crazy like it's really shouting uh, you can do that by uh, giving this uh, layer a wiggle position so if I go to position and if I then option click on the stopwatch type in wiggle and then one comma 
50 or something like that then you can see that it's kind of wiggling i don't think we need to change this around 50 and 50 so now you can see that it's really intense um maybe a bit too much but what i want to do because i only want the wiggle to start when the anime line started when he starts screaming like here and we also want to only have the anime lines start right there so if i turn them on um if i go in here and at this point when he opens his mouth then i want these lines to come in so if i just open this up go to contents and then shape one and then path one click on the stopwatch for this one as well path and then press u so i only see those keyframes drag them out a little bit and then from the beginning part here and just drag this shape out and from this one as well like that so now it comes into the screen while he starts screaming the only thing we need to do now is to have the let's put him back a little bit we have to do now is to have the um, wiggle start when he starts screaming and not already here already so what how we need to do that is delete this wiggle here just click on um, again option click on that uh, layer on the stopwatch and we're going to create a new null layer so option command shift y and then put it here and call this uh, wiggle and then parent the file to that wiggle and then we're going to add an, a slider effect so go to help and then type in slide oops slider control duplicate it and then in here we're going to add a position wiggle so option click on the stopwatch type in wiggle and then uh, let's say 50 comma 50 but on the first one we're going to select this 50 here so select it then go to the pick whip here and select uh, drag to the first one and from this one we're going to drag that over to this one so now this one creates 50 oh 50 and 50 well all right there you go so now we have the same bouncing effect but now i can stopwatch this or keyframe this so click on the stopwatches and then over there make them zero and now you can see we have these two zoom in here a bit uh so keyframe so from this point there's no wiggle and then boom only here it starts wiggling so that's how you can create this uh you can con control when the wiggle starts of your layer so um yeah that's it a very intense uh, animation and effect so that's it thanks for watching if you want to download the project files um, you can do that by following me on patreon there you can download the project file for this whole thing and um, thanks for watching i hope to see you in the next video thank you bye bye